I like to keep all geographical bases covered on got a ukulele, so this one is more for my European viewers. Keep watching. Yeah, hello, welcome back to Got A Ukulele. It's review day. As ever, this is the summary video review that accompanies the full written review that you will always find in the links in the video description below. Also down there in that description box are some links where you can help out to help keep this site going because this is not a corporate channel. I am not paid by the brands to give them adverts. This continues going by thanks to the people who donate each week. My eternal thanks go to these people. It's very, very kind of them. You can help out too with some of those links below. That would be great. And you can also help me out by hitting the subscribe button, ring the bell, you'll get notified of new stuff coming your way. Okay, as I said in that introduction, a lot of the instruments that I look at are available worldwide. A lot of them are really only available in America and perhaps the UK. But it's only right that I also look at instruments that are there on the big continent of Europe, and that's what this is. Um, this is the Geva, G-E-W-A, Geva, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, Geva Manoa M-C-O Concert. Geva are a German musical instrument brand that have been around since the 1920s, very well known in Germany. They have drums, they have guitars, they have all sorts of things. Still trading, uh, I think largely with Far Eastern stuff that's, that they've taken their badge to, but they also represent some other brands like Ovation and DW Drums. So they're a very well established musical instrument band. They have a range of ukuleles in their stable. As I say, they're Far Eastern, they're not particularly high end stuff, but they're fairly standards. Uh, and this one is part of the Manoa series. And uh, on first glance, not unattractive, very generic though, very, you know, there's so many instruments around that look like this. So we'll get into the specs and you'll see what I mean. So, standard double bout shaped concert ukulele. That's spruce solid top. Uh, it's not AAA grade spruce. Always hard for me to show you spruce under lights like this, but the grain, it's quite wavy and thick. It's not tight grained spruce. It's not, it's not top end stuff, but it's hardly unattractive. And that's paired classic style with a darker wood back and sides. This is laminate sapili wood and um, it's pretty plain, isn't it? I mean, I, I mean that two tone contrast is very, very common with guitars. It's equally common with ukuleles, but there's so many of them around that do this. Um, that doesn't mean to say I think there's anything wrong with it, I just think it doesn't stand out. So very basic Sapili back and size, laminate, solid spruce top, not the greatest quality spruce. The bridge is a tie bar, it looks rather big to me, made of walnut, it's quite scruffy. Uh, hard for me to show you, but if you look at the pictures on the website, you might see some more scruffiness. It almost looks a bit unfinished. There's some weird staining going on in here as well. It's a tie bar screwed in place. Little wood shavings coming off on the edges here. Not very neat. And it's fitted with a straight topped new bone saddle. Decoration, again, pretty classy actually and fairly standard, I suppose. We've got uh, herringbone inlays around the top with a cream edge binding around the top and also herringbone inlays around the sound hole. Now that's fine, but when you're doing a repeating pattern like herringbone, you really need to make sure that you don't mess it up because all over this, there are little stain marks where it's kind of been flooded. Um, this isn't, this is showing it in a better light than I think it is. You see, these really stand out when you have that sort of patterning. Um, they really stick out and I didn't think that was very nice. Finished with a satin, which is open pore, and I can't really find any fault with it. It's not too thick, the satin, but it has, has clearly damaged the inlays around the top, which I'm not a fan of. Inside, very generic, small thin braces, notched linings, but that top, solid top, hugely thick, really, really thick top. Brands tend to do that, and I say this, that I will take a good quality thin laminate over a an instrument that has a solid top for the sake of it because usually the laminates sound better and the reason for that is when you're doing a solid top for a low price brands tend to make them really thick because it reduces the number of returns when they split if they make them thin because they're not that well made that's a telltale sign to me that this is a thick overly thick top for 
for reasons that they're just concerned about them splitting well just make it properly use decent tone woods and that shouldn't happen so that's a bit annoying the neck wood is not specified obvious joints at the heel and a very uneven one up at the headstock here that's on an odd angle very far eastern round back profile very far eastern um nut width uh, which i can't quite remember it's in the written review be be below but it's a very standard nut width uh so that's not for me not for my hands uh the fingerboard more walnut which is in very good condition what really surprised me about this is not only is it edge bound but the edges are rolled that's to say there's a very slight curve on the edges which means it's very nice and soft in the hands when i come on to the price that's really surprising there we are that surprised me so that's the first positive isn't it um frets 18 of those 14 to the body pearly position dots facing out of 5 7 10 double 12th one at the 15th and there are dots on the side as well so the neck isn't for me in profile but i do like the rolled edges so i'll give it that um new bone nut i'll come on to the setup in a moment new bone nut at first glance quite like the asymmetrical headstock shape reminds me of those Cremona ukuleles very good what I don't like is this cheap logo I mean that's just what what is that just a basic font uh, I think that really spoils it makes it look really cheap and nasty now just a word though I've seen press photographs of these with much darker headstocks and white lettering which looks much nicer I've seen press photographs of these with a completely different logo on the headstock so whether they're in a position of change they're in flux I don't know I didn't get any choice this is what arrived and I don't like it so I review what I have in front of me but there are alternatives it would seem um, they should just stick with what they want the tuners are open gears, uh, clearly trying to look like Grovers. The, the quality is not there, but they're not bad. They work okay. Small black buttons, they're gold. Um, I've seen much worse in tuners. It comes with, as you can see from the swing tag, a coil of strings and a basic branded gig bag. Uh, nothing more than that and the price well it's got an RRP and it comes in at the UK price of about £160 that's not a lot of money in the in the big scheme of things with ukuleles it's not but it does put it in a very very congested price point against flights and Kai's and Umas and Carla's and Ohana's and Lanakai's many of which have instruments that are the same sort of spec solid spruce top laminate darker wood back and sides so how is it going to stand out? Um, the overall build here, I think, is all right. The overall finish leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, little finish mark, scruffy bridge. Hate that headstock. Um, so it's a bit mixed, so it's not standing out on those grounds. But the build generally is okay. It's nice and light at 490 grams. Balances nicely too. Setup, I said I'd talk about. The setup and the nut is a touch high but i could live with it the setup at the 12th is massively high you'll see the measurement uh i think on the website it's just too high the saddle needs to come down there isn't a lot of saddle to take down either okay so that shouldn't have arrived like that it shouldn't have arrived with these finish marks either these strings have really been taking an age to settle as well so just bear with me on this i may need to retune during the sound test um, but all in all, a very generic instrument. But as I say, there's nothing wrong with a spruce top and a darker wood back and sides. It's a classic combo. I had these tuned up a bit because just for the video, just to try and help settle them a bit more. So that's why this is taking longer. But at least you know I'm tuning it. Some people still say that I don't tune them deliberately. <laughs> people. People. Right. Spruce. Very bright. Uh, hopefully tempered by a darker body, but it's laminate on the back and sides. It's very, very bright, this one. Volume. All right. All right. It's not the loudest you've heard but it's all right, it, you will be heard. Sustain. Sustain dies off pretty quickly. So kind of short sustain, and I'm sure the thick top 
is the problem there. It's not that resonant. Short sustain, reasonable but not stellar volume, but very bright and short sustain and brightness just makes for plinky plonky. A bit muddy and losing its way a little bit too. My word, these strings. Stretchy, stretchy. Keelers, I wonder if they are genuine Keelers. Keelers normally sound quicker than this to me. It's that A string. Bit muddy. Shrill. Very, very bright. Right, okay. Build's all right. I mean, I have issues with the finish and the detailing. Um, the thing is, 15 years ago when I started reviewing ukuleles, if this was on the market, you'd be looking at this and going, well, that's great. I mean, because it was, unless you were spending Hawaiian money, you were looking at brands like Mahalo um, that were uh, often a letdown. Um, and something like this would sort of stand out and say, that's all right. But there are so many of these that look like this um, that would, well, certainly would have arrived in better state than this one. So it's really got to stand out to make its mark for 160 quid. And I don't think it does. I think, I think the sound is just a little bit one-dimensional, no real character to it. It works as a ukulele. It's loud enough. You can play it. I mean, if you're a first-timer, but there's the point. If you're a first timer and you're going to spend 150 pounds, um, there's so much else out there that is better 150 quid than this. Um, I, I sound like I'm being really hard on it. I haven't given it a terrible score. I just think it's much easier to find something that's a bit better than this. Um, but there we are. The Gava Manoa MCO Concert Ukulele Solid Spruce Top Laminate Sapili Back and Sides, about 160 quid in the UK and in Europe, Euros equivalent. Um, it just hasn't really made me smile. Um, tell me what you think. I mean, it you know, it's standard, isn't it? But um, I'd want more out of the tone and the quality control, really. But there we are. Right, okay. Thanks for watching. Another European one covered. Uh, I'm back next weekend. Something arrived the other day. I think this is possibly going to be the first independent review of this model. There's been an awful lot of buzz about it. Um, and I must admit, I'm really looking forward to having a look at it. Uh, because I think they may have hit on something with this one. Uh, I'm not going to say any more. People will guess when I put the macro up. Because it's pretty obvious what it is. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. That will be next Saturday. Because I'm not here next Sunday. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Enjoy yourselves. Take care of each other. Go carefully. I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.